Hi, uh, my name is Ivan Ristik. I work for Qualys uh, and I work on a website called SSL Labs, which is a research effort that's focused on um, improving the, the configuration of SSL and improving how SSL is used. Uh, for the last couple of years, we've had this free assessment tool on our website. Uh, the website is ssllabs.com and uh, the tool is very useful because it helps people understand if their SSL configuration is good or, or it isn't. Um, and then the t you, all you need to do to use the tool is you take the domain name, you input it to the, into the website and the website will go and assess your site and assess your, uh, your configuration and tell you what you're doing wrong and what you're not doing uh, so well. Um, so um, one thing that we, we've been uh, hearing from people is that once we give them the verdict, so to speak, they don't really know what to do and how to improve uh, the configuration of their servers. And so we came up with this idea of uh, writing a guide. And today I'm actually uh, talking about a, a SSL slash TLS deployment best practices guide, which is a comprehensive document that's aimed at uh, helping people uh, uh, configure SSL better. The, the best thing about the guide is we have, uh, it's very easy to use, it, we have split uh, all the recommendations into five categories and we have 22 recommendations in total. Uh, so once you assess your website, you can download the document, you can go step by step, you can look at the things that we recommend and if you implement them, we shouldn't take uh, too much time, you arrive uh, with a website that's uh, that's very well uh, configured. So to give you some idea of how the, the state of SSL uh, configuration is actually pretty bad. To give you some idea, is is we we conduct these yearly surveys uh, assessing all uh, SSL sites on the internet. For example, we have found that more than half of all sites actually still have SSL2 enabled, which is a protocol that's been known to be insecure for a very very long time. Once we looked into, the, for example. Uh, how applications are used, we have noticed that virtually it's, it's very difficult to actually find a secure website. So in the guide we have five categories. Uh, the first category is about the security of your private key and the certificate. Uh, and then we have a couple of recommendations there. The second category is about the configuration of the server itself. And then in the third category we moved into performance. Because it's not only important that you have a secure site, the site also needs to perform well, otherwise you're not going to really benefit from, from the added security. And finally, in the, well, and then we have the fourth category, which is all about SSL uh, application security. The issue with SSL is that it was designed in 94, 95, and then the whole of the web continued to evolve around it. So by now, in the, in, on the application level, there are things you can do that completely subvert SSL. And this, these are the things that we cover in, in number four. And the category number five is actually quite simple. There's only one recommendation, which is basically validate. Uh, things change and things happen. So the only way to stay secure is to validate once when you configure a website and then continue to validate periodically um, to ensure that you, that you stay secure. Um, so all I can re recommend is to go to our website. Again, it's uh, sslabs.com and download the guide and uh, just uh, fix the, the configuration of your SSL service. Thank you very much.